Well, in today's conversation, we're looking inside a nurse's purse, because nurses are always prepared for every scenario, and I think we can learn a little something from seeing what they cart around with them. So before the show, our audience opened up their purses. Uh, applaud, you deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Shared what's inside their purses with my producers. Look inside of this one. Now, I can't help but notice there's a very prominently placed uh, little spray bottle. There. Whose purse is that? Oh, Harvey, what's your, what's your name? Jalissa. Jalissa. Yes. So what do you got in there? I have antimicrobial spray. Oh. So I use this, um, I mean, as, as we all know, uh, the number one way to, you know, prevent the spread of germs is to keep, you know, your hands clean. Um, and as a nurse, we know that sometimes hand, oh. you know, sanitizing lotion could be uh, mm -hmm. caustic and, and kind of harsh to your hands. It smells nice, right? How'd you make it smell so good? Oh, uh, it's just the brand. Oh, you buy the brand? <laughs> it's a natural brand. Who here carries around antimicrobial sprays? One lesson take away from today's show, get something like this. I think I'll put this on as perfume. I know, it smells really nice. You so, ever yeah. use it as perfume? No. <laughs> Good thought. Just another product extension. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And finally, I couldn't help but notice from way across the studio, you brought, hey, how are you? You, you? Good. You brought a backpack. Yes. Or a man This is called a Merce. A Merce. A Merce. Oh my goodness, that is very well stated. Yes, thank you. So, well, I carry a lot of variety of things um, from the Adirondacks. So I, uh, let me see something here that I can tell you that's kind of interesting. Yeah, walking talkies uh, in there? I have a, called a tick key. So a when what? I do a lot of hiking in the woods. Uh, my son or I come home, we check ourselves for ticks if we have one. We use this so it prevents us from getting Lyme disease and other. You literally put this? Put this on there. So let's see. Oh, that looks like a mole, but we'll try to get that okay. off there. Yeah, the so, so you put it over the head here. And then uh, what you do is you slide it over the tick and it just pulls right off. You got to be kidding me. Awesome. It's that easy? And I'm gonna give it to you. I get another gift. You get another gift. What do I say about nurses giving? Like that. <laughs> that way they, you don't pop the tick and you, and you get the actual stinger out. Exactly, so the saliva from the tick, if you pop it, it goes into the, into the bloodstream that causes the Lyme disease. So you wanna make sure you get it off and not squeeze it. You wanna make sure you get it off clean. By the way, you know, I, you know where I put my backpack? Tupperware. Tupperware. I always bring my own food to the hospital. I learned that when I was in the ICU. Right, right when I was working, all the ICU nurses here, you eat the ICU food, you get sick. It's so, very true. So you bring your own food, you'll stay healthy. And take the ticks off. All right, <laughs> up next, I'm training places for the day with a school nurse, and I got an education you will not want to miss. Ever since I launched the hashtag Nurse Nation movement on my social media, I've heard from thousands of you, literally, celebrating the amazing job nurses do every single day. And a lot of you, posted about your school nurses. I remember my school nurse in kindergarten. That's the picture of me way back then. Right, there I am. See how calming I am? I was so kind and helpful to her. Yeah. I think she tried to be kind and helpful to me. I was very difficult as a child. You can tell that devilish look in my eyes. So when I walked into her office, she'd always try to comfort me and why I was back again and what was the problem this time because I was a frequent visitor. I'd you know, frequent traveler to her office. Now, as a parent, I know school nurses are responsible for keeping our kids safe and healthy while they're in school. So take a look at what happened when I kept my shoes on, but I walked a mile as an elementary school nurse for a day. Nurse Michaels is definitely one of my favorite teachers. She's the only one that makes sure that we're not dead. You bumped heads? As the principal here, I see how Nurse Michaels goes above and beyond. Miss Michaels, I lost my tooth. She deals with cuts, bruises, scrapes. You name it, she does it. If anyone deserves a day off, it's her. I'm about to surprise Nurse Michaels with a spa day. She has no idea I'm coming. Hi, Nurse Eleni. Oh my God, Dr. Ross! <laughs> what are you uh, doing here? Sorry to barge in on you. No, but I know barge. how hard school nurses work. So here's the deal. I've been allowed to be the school nurse for the day, and you get to go to a spa for the day. Oh, wow. Are you ready for it? I'm ready, always ready. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good time. Send Thank the first you. kid in. I will. I hope I know what I'm getting into. We'll find out. Come on in. Where is Miss Michaels? Uh, Nurse Michaels, yeah, she got the day off. And what's wrong? Sir, throw. Sit back, relax, everything is on Dr. Oz. <laughs> After my first student, the kids started piling in. I feel sick. <coughs> what a smart bug that bit you. You speak Turkish? Mm hmm You know what? We're talking Turkish. How's that? Okay. Deep breath in. <laughs> this is hard. I wonder how Lenny's doing. Next stop is manicure. Are you ready? As the day went on, I started having some fun. 
is a new nurse in town. Oh, you have a screening test today, don't you? Yes. So I see you're on the list for the uh, eye exam. So hop up there. 130 pounds? Whoa. You should look in the mirror. You look like a pirate. Normally I weigh like 64. That's like twice what's normal. Well, I'm going to write it down anyway. Are you sure you should write that down? This is for all the marbles. Are you ready? I-L-O-V-E-O-Z. I love Oz. <laughs> what a coincidence. Every student who checked into my office had a story that checked out. Except one. Next. Oh, I got a stomachache. Oh. When did your stomach start hurting you? Um, when I got in school. So it wasn't hurting before you got here? It hurt? A little bit. How about here? A little bit. A lot of little bits I'm hearing. So Tony, how about I call your mom, she comes pick you up, and you take the day off from school? Yes. I'm just kidding. You're not, that's not happening at all. Aww. You're going back to class. Bye-bye. I know this game. These students, they need to be checked for lice. Are you serious? The nurse has to check for lice? Nope, no lice. How much hair do you have? You see anything yet? No. This is my version of a spa day, Nurse Michaels. Hope you're having a good time. This is the life. <laughs> yes, it was fun. There's a lot of work, too. Nurse, a lady is joining us now. How are you? I'm good. You did a wonderful Thank job. You. Thank you for letting Thank me you. the kids. Thank was the spa day fun? It was. Unbelievable. <laughs> so your kids have such a wild imagination. Thank I'd just you. like to hear one story, craziest thing that they've worked on with you. It, it's not a story of her imagination. Uh, it was a typical morning running to work. My cell phone goes off. It's the principal, Lenny, where are you? I said, I'm on my way there. There was a parent and a student sitting there waiting for me. She was covered from head to toe in blood, abrasions, bruises. I got there. The mom is like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She insisted that I bring her to school. I said, what happened? She fell on her way to school and wouldn't let me touch her, bring her back into the house to take care of her. She said, you don't know what you're doing, Mom. I need the nurse, nurse. to take care of me. Well, God bless her. And you cured her? You helped her? I took care of her. Well, thank so. you for letting me borrow you. your, your <laughs> office. I appreciate all the hard work you do. Listen, this is true of all nurses. Don't forget, Nurse Station, we are looking for a nurse to join our core team of experts right here on the Dr. Oz Show. I've already heard from thousands of you across the country. Here are just a few that I wanted to share, including our very first candidate. Hi, Dr. Oz. 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 I know that I'm the nurse you're looking for because as my patients say, my sneakers are as bright as my personality. And here they are. I want to be chosen for your nurse search because I work super hard and I am always on the go, go, go. I am kind, caring, and compassionate to every person that I encounter. I really hope you pick me. We nominate Katie Duke because she is... I'm your man. I'm quick with my feet and I'm always willing to help. I would love to be chosen for your nurse search because I'm extremely passionate about patient education. Knowledge is power. I want to make a difference. And I hope to see you soon, Dr. Oz. Let's meet our first candidate. Come on out, Nurse Michelle. Well, you have dressed for victory. Yes. So I got to ask all the nurses who are candidates for this position. Yes. Why they became a nurse? I became a nurse nine years ago. My son was born with a heart defect. And I remember not even wanting to go down to the cafeteria to have lunch. And one of the nurses pulled me aside and she said, Mom, you have to eat. You have to keep yourself healthy. I'm your eyes, your ears, and your hands when you're not here. And that's exactly why I became a nurse today. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. So other than the word pink, how would your patients describe you? They would describe me as fun, fabulous, and Dr. Oz, I just top the charts. Tops the charts. <laughs> All right, we're going to check it out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.